Thierry Henry played alongside some top finishers, Messi, Barkham, Eto'o, Van Persie, and many other great forwards. But when asked who the best finisher he ever played with was, he said, David Trissigi, hands down, is the best finisher that I've ever seen. When Thierry Henry says you're a great striker, you're definitely a great striker. On top of that, Pelé included Trezeguet in his top 125 list of greatest living players. So, he definitely deserves some recognition. Welcome to Football Reminisce, and this is the career story of David Sergio Trezeguet. David, ahí está David! ¡Gol! ¡De River! ¡Lo hizo David Trezeguet! Trezeguet was born in France in 1977, but grew up in Argentina. His father, Jorge, was an Argentine footballer of French descent. He joined the Platense Academy at the age of six and spent 10 years with their various youth teams before being promoted to the first team in 1994. According to his teammate at the time, Marcelo Espina, at 15, he was already 1.80 meters. He was skinny but strong, very skillful, and had one attribute that very few players possess. He could strike the ball really well with both feet. Trezeguet ended up featuring just five times for Platense's first team before attracting interest from France. PSG looked his most likely destination but did not match the asking price. Monaco eventually won the race and at just 17, he was back in his native country. This move came about just a few short months after making his professional debut for his childhood club. Some believe that it was too early for the teenager to make the switch to European football, but David was determined. My objective was to go to France and I didn't think about what I had in Argentina. When you've got enough enthusiasm and don't overthink, things turn out well. This Monaco side wasn't lacking talent though, so he needed to work his way up. In his first two seasons with the club, he played only 10 first team matches, regularly featuring for the B side instead. That would change ahead of the 97-98 season. In the previous year, his teammate of the same age group Thierry Henry featured 48 times in what was a breakthrough season for him. It was now time for coach Tigana to unleash the other prodigy. Trezeguet showcased his eye for goal, netting 18 times in 27 league appearances and another 6 in cup competitions. One of those goals, this incredible strike in the Champions League quarterfinal match against Manchester United, the fastest ever goal in terms of speed in Champions League history. Oh, that goal also sent Monaco to the semis at the expense of the English side. He finished the league campaign as the second top scorer, just three goals behind the Golden Boot winner. His ability to lose markers and sniff out opportunities was clear to see that season. He also had a knack for scoring incredible acrobatic goals with both feet. That summer, Trezeguet was selected in the France squad for the 98 World Cup, alongside other young talents like Vieira and Thierry Henry, a tournament that the France team went on to win at home. Trezeguet managed to score in the group stage win over Saudi Arabia. This was just the beginning for the now 20-year-old. Back at his club, he was awarded the Ligue 1 Young Player of the Year. He netted 12 league goals as Monaco finished fourth. The following season, Trezeguet enjoyed a prolific goal scoring campaign 22 goals in 30 matches guiding monaco to the league title and once again finishing runner up on the top scorers list 52 goals in 93 league appearances for monaco a magnificent return for the young striker several clubs were interested in his signature but any transfer talk was to be put on hold as euro 2002 part that summer france had another brilliant tournament progressing all the way to the final where they took on italy evenly poised at 1-1 after 90 minutes the match headed to extra time the golden gold rule was in play for the tournament simply put first team to score in extra time wins and uh, well 13 minutes into the additional period Trezeguet is waiting in the centre. Trezeguet! France have won the European Championship! France, Euro 2000 winners thanks to Trezeguet's superb golden goal. By this point, he was regarded as one of the most prolific strikers in the world, and as is usually the case, top European clubs were lining up to get his signature. As much as Monaco would have loved to keep him, it was an impossible task. Juventus paid £20 million and David was off to Italy. In his first season with the old lady, Trezeguet had to settle for several substitute appearances, as Ancelotti preferred Del Piero and Filippo Inzaghi up front. He still managed 15 goals in 32 appearances in all competitions. Inzaghi left Juve that summer, 
Lippi replaced Ancelotti as manager and this saw a significant increase in Trezeguet's minutes. This immediately paid off as he scored 24 league goals in 34 matches, helping the Biancaneri to the Scudetto, their first league title in four years. The 24 goals were enough to see him finish as Serie A top scorer and on top of that win the Serie A Football of the Year and the Foreign Football of the Year. He added another 8 goals in the Champions League bringing his total up to 32, the most prolific season in his entire career. Not even a car accident involving him and three other teammates could stop him that year. The 02-03 season was an injury ravaged one. Still, 9 goals in 17 matches wasn't a bad return. The end of that campaign was a roller coaster ride. Juve retained the league title but lost on penalties to AC Milan in the Champions League final. Trezeguet had his penalty saved during the shootout. Across the next three seasons, he managed 65 goals despite missing close to 40 matches during that period. Juve won both titles in 2005 and 2006 but unfortunately those were stripped away after a huge match fixing scandal. Juventus were relegated to Serie B and this was followed by a mass exodus of star players plus the manager. Trezeguet stayed on and his 15 goals led them to immediate promotion back to the top flight. He controversially made a hand gesture towards the club president indicating he was leaving the club but that ended up not being the case as he instead extended his contract. He picked up where he had left off scoring 20 league goals. He only featured 27 times in the next two seasons and was eventually released by the club in 2010 with 12 months remaining on his contract. 10 seasons with Juve, 138 league goals in 245 appearances, 171 goals in all competitions, the club's highest ever foreign goal scorer. Trezeguet moved to La Liga joining newly promoted Hercules. He finished as the club's top scorer with 12 but this wasn't enough to keep the club up. He went on to play just three games in the UAE Pro League for Banias due to an injury. At the end of 2011, Trezeguet moved back to Argentina to play for the team he supported as a kid, River Plate. He was tasked with helping the club gain promotion back to the top flight. He did exactly that scoring 13 times in 19 matches including a brace in the final match to seal promotion. Playing for River is a unique feeling. The adrenaline I get surpasses any other moment in my career. Incredible, considering he had won a World Cup, scored a golden goal in a Euros final and enjoyed some huge moments at both Monaco and Juventus. He featured 16 times the next season before the coach decided to omit him from the squad, a decision that caused the fans to protest. Trezeguet went on to play for Newell's All Boys before ending his career with a brief spell at Pion City in India. He finished his career with a total of 273 goals in 559 appearances at club level and 34 goals in 71 games for France at international level, two league titles with Monaco and another two league titles with Juventus, twice a Division II champion with both Juve and River Plate, helping them to promotion, one French Super Cup and one Italian Super Cup, a European Championship and the big one, the World Cup. He also won several individual accolades and was named in Juventus' greatest 11 of all time. Trezeguet was one of the most clinical finishers of his generation with a unique positional sense and movement in and around the box. A two-footed striker who was excellent in the air too. Indeed, he was one of the top players to never have won the Champions League but he still achieved a lot throughout his career. Trezeguet aka King David.